What's up guys, we're out here on the courts today and today I am learning dragon stuff. I've always wanted to learn this skill. I, uh, I got a small clip of it yesterday, but only for like a few seconds. I want to get this to the point where I can keep it on there for as long as as long as I want really. Yeah, I've always wanted to learn dragon stall, but never really got around to train it properly. So today is the day, but I need to warm up a little bit first. I feel a little bit ill. It's very windy, but not as windy as it has been. So I'm making the most of the sun and the dry. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. Let's warm up first. Let's go. Okay, so the main thing I've got to get under control for this skill to work is balance. It's a weird position because you bend this leg slightly, this leg comes around the back, I'll show you from here, and that's the position you're balancing with. So I've got to get used to this awkward balance position because when you start to wobble, that's when you lose control of the ball. So the position is that, and I've got to get used to keeping this leg still, squatting down into it, and balancing it there basically. So it's going to be difficult, but let's see how long I can do it for. I'll try to do it from kick-ups now. I lost it. I was just going into freestyle mode then, but I got a good one. That was good. Play it back. Run it back. Not sure if you can tell by my voice, you probably can, but I got a bit of a cold. Feeling a bit. Lemmy. Snore phlegm, not coke. But um, yeah, so I don't feel too good, but I'm making the most of a dry day. So it's got to be done. And this skill is so sexy if it works. Once I get it down, it'll be it'll probably be my favourite skill. And there's loads of combos you can do with it as well. So little freestyle secrets for you, if you're wondering why you can't land some tricks, maybe it's because of this. Um, but the reason I was just doing sit down then and dropped the ball when I tried to do the knee catch is because I'm wearing shorts and it's a it's like a really dry ball. If the ball was wet and I was wearing shorts against so my skin, it actually becomes kind of more grippy. So you kind of have to play around with it, and there's, you'll find these different weird little techniques that help so usually when you got like a if you're using like an urban ball and it's like a rubber ball with trousers it's so nice and again skin is pretty nice as well but when it's like a dry i got this urban ball revolution when it's like a match ball type ball um they can get pretty dry which makes them slippy um especially when the short it like touches shorts like my shorts and my skin if it goes in that in-between spot it just slips out so you got to make sure you're wearing the right clothing with the right ball, I guess. But right now I'm just having a fun little training session, so I didn't really care about my care about my clothes. So, but in future, yeah, trousers can be grippy, or they can be really slippy. Uh, a wet ball can be grippy, or it can be really slippy, and a dry ball also. So, I guess just play around with it. But fun little insider for you. Maybe getting there a little bit, I don't know. We'll see. That's the thing, some attempts are decent and some attempts are just whack, but that's kind of like every skill. The stretch here, yeah, I gotta get the right position. Every time I drop it, because I'm like bending too much, I'm gonna be in the right squat position. combo I'm gonna work on once I've got dragon stool is like dragon stool to clipper to dragon stool be so badass can't tell what I'm doing wrong but I know I'm doing something wrong maybe I'm going too far in front when I need to be over here I don't know just did the same again though that's another thing with stools if you kick the ball up too high and it just lands on your foot like that it's just gonna bounce off if you kick it too low, then you're stretching for it underneath and you scoop it away. Um, and with the dragon stool, I don't know if, it, if you're supposed to do this, but I can't find a way to like cushion it 
with most stools you'd come down with the ball so the ball would be falling and you'd come down with it and it would cushion it and help it sit on there with the dragon stool i just kind of let it bounce on which means i have to get it to the perfect height so that the ball's coming down and it doesn't bounce too much it just lands on top and maybe a tiny bounce um but it's just playing around with it i guess like anything uh but i don't know this is still day one so we'll see That little flick, it's so satisfying. Even if you don't hold the stool for like more than a second, it's still satisfying to get the nice roll up flick. Oh, that was nice. Oh. That was a nice one. Happy with that one. If I could get it like that consistently, then I know I'm on the right path. Because that was pretty good. Let's go! Cut! Okay guys, because it's quite hard to measure when you've like accomplished a stall basically and when you can say you can do the skill and this is only day one and I want to do it all in one video I'm going to say I've got to get it for 5 seconds, okay? I'm setting 5 seconds as my goal I drag and stall it for 5 seconds, today is complete and uh, I'll put the video out, if not then I'm back again tomorrow but I'll keep filming, let's see if I can get one for 5 5 fingers to the face, 5 fingers to the face Was that five seconds? Was that five? Take into account it's very windy as well. And I just want to get this YouTube video out. <laughs> now, I care about the quality, but was that five seconds? I see the timer and I am going to be lenient towards me because, because it can be, it's my channel, so fuck off. Okay, so I just reviewed the footage and it's actually like four seconds, I think. It wasn't clean and it, I think it was only four seconds, so I'm gonna go again, uh, try get five. I'm gonna be really annoyed if this takes forever now. Review V A R R E F Ref R E M Losing my religion. I don't know, but review the footage right now. Roll the footage. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That was four seconds again, I think. Um, yes. If I keep getting four seconds, then then maybe I'll just take it. But that was four seconds. Slap me. So close, I'm getting really close. I don't know if that's five seconds again. Oh, I think it was four. That was, no way that was longer than last time. It's just frustrating when you get really close loads of times. And the heat gets to you, your leg starts to ache, so your balance is getting worse and worse. I hate when I get that close. I think that was technically five seconds, but it was so unclean, I'm not taking it. Usually, I genuinely go on all day until I got this and sweat buckets. But I do have work in like two hours, and I've got to have a shower as well. So, I might have to call it quits soon. I'll keep trying for now still, but 
Work might screw this one over for me. A few moments later. Okay, just been on a video call to, we're gonna shout him out, ZX, all right? Okay, shout out for you there, Luke. Uh, so I've cooled down a bit again now. I'm not gonna warm back up, just gonna get straight into it. Take that. Oh, I might just take that. Yeah, I don't know if that's four seconds or five seconds, but I'm uh, the rest wasn't clean either. The combo, but I don't really care about the combo on this. Uh, but I'll just take that. So that's the dragon stool, kind of. I will keep practicing it, it's just for this video. Um, but yeah, hope you like this sort of content. It's just me learning a skill. I might post another one. So yeah, appreciate you watching if you did, even though it's solid. 0.007 percent of you uh, probably got to the end but thanks for watching i'm going to be posting it soon a good dragon store on my insta hopefully uh, if i keep training this so peace out